there. I'm going to be showing you how to make a coriander pesto. Something that is delicious on any meal. Um, in fact, this is a vegan variety, so there's no cheese involved. And um, I've used mixed nuts, so just mixed nuts, salted, roasted mixed nuts, just as a base. And I'm just going to whip that up quickly. Right. Hey, remove that. Um, toss in a couple of garlic cloves. Let's not be shy. In fact, with this coronavirus, the uh, <clears throat> it is actually quite a good thing to have as much garlic as possible. And then, of course, we've got to add a couple of these little green monsters, some chili. Absolutely delicious in the pesto. So I'm going to make this one quite strong. There you go. Right. Then I have the coriander. So very, very simple exercise. Just get the bag out. Lovely fresh coriander. I don't need to wash this as it's already been washed before it was bagged. What I do is I just cut it into smaller chunks so it doesn't wrap around the center of my blender. And, uh, and believe it or not, most of the flavor is actually in these little stems rather than in the leaves. So don't discard those. Right. And do another one. Absolutely delicious aroma coming out of there. And there we go, just chop up and make sure that it mm, try and push it around the the blade, but not too firmly. Just chop that one up. You do, of course, wash your hands before doing this. <clears throat> I'll just see how this goes. Try and get the little stragglers in. Right, and now just bear with me as I get <clears throat> olive oil. I use this South African blend, Willow Creek, as I believe that. Uh, Local is lacquer, and it's a pretty good olive oil. So, I'll just put a little squirt down there just to add the moisture. Well, let's say about half a cup. Half a cup. You can always just add um, as you're going along, and then of course you've got to do a little bit of seasoning. So, have some lovely pink salt. And some pepper, some lovely cracked black pepper. Right. Oh, doesn't that smell fabulous? And then, of course, let's not forget a very special ingredient that comes in as well, and that is your lemon. Oh, Nothing like fresh lemon juice. Squeeze as you're going along. If a pip or two gets in, that's not a train smash. I do try and fish them out, but um, once the blade gets going, it chops it up and it kind of blends in with the nuts and adds a little bitterness. So, try and get as much as I can out of this half a lemon. Absolutely superb. There you go. Right, now just bear with me as I try and get this back on. Oh, there you go, it wasn't too bad. There we go. Right, at this 
stage, I can see that I can add a lot more leaves. So <clears throat> let's do that. Um, I do apologize for all the plastic. So, these little bags, I just find it makes it much easier. And, um, when, I've, when I've used fresh, freshly bought in the bunch, um, the leaves are a bit wilted and not as fresh as they come in these bags. So, unfortunately, the sacrifice is that uh, I have to... I think these, these are recyclable bags, so I will stick them in my... Recycle. Right, and here goes. Actually, let me just add a little more, a little more moisture to this. It wasn't quite a half a cup. My initial squirts. Right. Apologize for the noise. Just clean the sides and make sure that all the leaves have been chopped. That's wonderful. I will at this stage add some extra olive oil. Lovely. Oh, heavenly, heavenly, absolute delicious and this is something that you can make and keep in the fridge for about 10 days although sometimes it doesn't last that long let me just that little lemon pip out there um great on potatoes chips wraps together with hummus of course which i'm going to be making next so watch this space nutritional yeast. Um, I'm not going to with this one but uh, usually if I when I make a uh, basil pesto I would add the nutritional yeast as the cheese element. I hope you've enjoyed <laughs> my little um, video on making my coriander pesto. I hope that one day we'll be making it together. Love you lots sweetheart. Bye.